Marvelous Muses. How are we doing tonight, guys? So tonight we're going to do the little box. And when I bought mine, I didn't get a frame with it. But I had a frame from a different one that's pretty close to being the right size. Uh, it just needed a little piece of silicone in the end here because it was just a little bit longer than this. But otherwise, this works perfect. This is going to hold the ends from bowing out. And I'm going to use these little faceted gems from Dollar Tree. Um, but on the lid, and but I'm going to put them, because this is the top that's facing us here. So I'm going to put them up like this where the little points are facing up. But they're still not above the top. So we're going to cover them. Um, and that's what we're going to do for that. Is cover that with that. And then the bottom... And we're going to probably put a little bit of this glitter in here with it. But we're going to take the bottom and we're going to mix three different shades of glitter. This one here, I don't have a clue what the color is, but it looks like a sapphire blue, kind of. Uh, this one here is a Hello Hobby glitter. Looks like Walmart. And it is a holographic blue. And it's like little shards, kind of. It doesn't look like really fine glitter. It looks like little shards of glitter. And then I have a little bit more blue glitter here. So we're going to mix these blue glitters together. We're going to pour them in here. Pour a little bit in here and then add these stones in. And let it cure. And I'm going to come back and top this off. I may put a tattoo or a decal or something on the top of here. I don't know yet. And I may add some alcohol ink to this to the glitter but we're, we're gonna see so I'm gonna mix up some resin put on my gloves and everything and we'll be back in a minute okay so we're gonna do the lid first and we are gonna add in some different shades of blue glitter Got one of those shaker lids on it. Hold on. Guess we'll just shake it. Alright. And then we're going to add some of this blue, the Walmart glitter. Okay. I just shook a bunch of that glitter in there, guys. And we are stirring this up. All right. Very pretty. Okay laid out here so I can lay my stick on it. Okay, so we're going to pour a little bit of this in here. Okay, so we want that in there. Want that there. Perfect. Now I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol around these edges here. Just because I don't want bubbles along the edge. And I may go along the edge anyway. Okay. That's going to be perfect. Now I'm going to pour the rest of this in here around the edge. And we're going to pour it just over this edge right here. I'm going to let it run around. I 
How we doing, guys? I hope everyone's having a good night. Okay. Move this out of the way for a minute. Train. They have busy tonight. Busy, busy, guys. Wow. All right. So we are just going to drop these in. out here so I can fill the lid with them. Ah. <laughs> They're slippery. And you have resin on your gloves. Slippery, slippery. So did you guys like the show video? Oh my gosh, right? That was were crazy. I love them. So we are going to be using shells in videos here coming up very quickly. I almost did it in this one. But I wanted to do my... I, this is my birthstone. So I'm doing a music box out of this. And uh, this one's going to be mine. So, I thought, well, I'm going to make it in my birthstone colors here, if I'm going to make it where I want it. Come on, get in there. There we go. Alright, what do we think, guys? What do you think? I think it's going to be beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to go around the edge here. Take our little silicone here. Actually, yeah. I wonder if these blue stones will fit down in here. Nope. Yeah. Kind of, but not really. Okay, we're going to take it back out. I don't want it in there. If it's not going to fit, I don't want it in there. 
Alright, so we're going to let this cure. We'll come back after this is cured. We're going to pour another layer in here. And we'll pull the, pour the top layer here. And I'll decide if I'm going to put it, a vinyl on it. I might put a vinyl on it. I think I might put my name on there. Since this is going to be for me. I have, I have the Marvelous Artsy I could put on there. Or I could just do my name. I think I might do it with this one. Oh yeah, here we go. Put that across there. Perfect. That's what we're going to do then. I'm going to put my name on it and then I'm going to clear coat it with the top layer when we're done. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, guys. Alright, we'll be back. Hello, guys. We're back. So, um, I poured a partial layer of magic blue. I'm going to pour the last layer of magic blue. I may have too much resin made up, but if I do, I'm going to pour it into uh, some more succulent molds because I have another idea for a different succulent tray that I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I've got a couple couple different ideas going on here so I'm gonna start making some succulents for it uh, so yeah that's that's my plans here is we're gonna pour this magic blue into the bottom of this box and whatever is left like I said we're gonna pour into the succulent molds And that's if there's any left at all. It may take it all. I mixed up five ounces this time. Huh? I think it's going to take it. I think it's going to take it. Yeah, I think it is. We're going to use these, that's for sure. Not these two. We might use a little small one here. Here, we'll use this one. Let's do the little ones here. We'll do a couple of the little bitty ones. A little bit in here in the mold you gonna squish it around a little bit yeah <laughs> don't squish it so much you squeeze it out and we're gonna do the same thing with this one squish it around a bit Go right over the edge. There we go. Uh, I guess we could pour one more. Try that one. One more. There we go. All right. 
we're gonna let this cure and we'll be back in a couple hours to demold and finish it off hey guys we're back so ready to demold this we got my little succulents here that we did I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way this is the glitter that I used so if anybody Missed that part of it at the beginning. I don't know this brand. It doesn't have a label on it. Uh, this one here. Says it's from. Uh, I can't read the name of it. Yeah, I can't read the name of it, guys. I don't know if you guys can read it. Friendsglitterandmore.com Yeah, I think that's what it says. It's back to the blue. I'm going to move these out of the way so they are not in my way while I'm doing this. All right. And I have lost my sticker with my name on it. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I found it. <laughs> I found it. All right. So let's take out the little succulents here. And like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm making these because I am going to make another succulent garden. And I've got some plans. I'm going to do something a little different with this one. Uh... It's going to be similar to the other one, but it's going to be a little bit different. So, there was a couple suggestions that were made, and I'm going to try to implement them into it this time. So, we shall see. Oh, that's pretty. I like this blue. I like the blue. Alright, let's stick these back here. These are great for whenever I have some little extras here. I can pour these and like I said, after a couple, two or three times of doing that, I have enough then that I can make my little succulent tray. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. I like that one. And then, of course, this one here. Very cute. Oh, I love that. Alright. Okay, so we got that. Got that off. Let me put my hands off here. Alright. So, now, I'm going to take this thing apart. We're going to take this little thing apart here and see what we can do. See if we can... these together and put them with it so whenever I put it up all right I have a feeling this is going to kind of be a little bit on the difficult side to demold Oh, 
Maybe not as bad as I thought. Come on. Ah, yes. Oh, that's pretty. The only thing I can tell you now I don't like is that I did not pour enough glitter in the first pour there. Because I have this clear line. Which, I mean, it's pretty. But I want to put this in here. And you're going to see it. So, I'm like... And actually, I don't think it's going to fit anyway unless I put it in the bottom and I don't want to put feet on it. Yeah, I don't want to put feet on this right now. And I don't think that, yeah, that's not going to fit because if I put that in there like that, I'm not going to put the lid on. So, that idea is scrapped. But, it's still a pretty box and I really like it. Really, really, really like it. And if I put it on the bottom, it would be perfect for that because you barely see it on the back here. Hmm. If I do that, though, I've got to put I've got to put feet on it. And I don't know yet what feet I would put on it. I don't know if I want... I don't want the bronze feet on there. I don't want those on. Okay, so I have the box. I'm going to look online. And I'm going to see if I can find something on Amazon. Some kind of feet other than the ones I got. If anybody knows of anything. I was going to use the little squares. I was going to use these. And paint them. And put them on the bottom. Which, that would probably work. Yeah, I might do that after all. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you can think of something else that will work better. So, because this is mine. I don't have to put the, I don't have to put the music box in it immediately. But yeah, that's what I was going to do. I have uh, the wind beneath my wings. That's the one I was going to put on it. I'm not going to do it enough to get a copyright strike, but I will do it. Pretty, huh? All right. Okay, so that's pretty, very pretty. We're going to move it over here out of the way so it's not quite as loud. And hopefully, like I said, we won't get a copyright strike from Bette Midler. <laughs> All right, this is so pretty. You see the top of this, guys. This is gorgeous. Now, I don't have enough room on here that I can dome this with it in here. So, um,. What I would be doing is probably either spraying some clear over it. Oh, 
Probably spraying some clear over it's actually what I'm going to probably do. Thank heavens for crickets. I was telling Lisa, the lady that brought me to Shaw's the other day, we were talking and I was telling her, no, I was telling somebody else about, no, it was the lady I was talking to for my doctor. I got a new doctor. I, I go see her on the 7th of February. Hopefully, fingers crossed. She turns out to be better than the last one. And uh, I am going, I was talking to her and she said she'd never heard anybody with my name before. And I was telling her how I got my name. My dad's name was Marvin. My mom named me Marva. Well, told her that I didn't like my name. And uh, that I didn't like it because when I was growing up, it was about the year when all every, all the girls in my class had these silver ID bracelets that had your name on it. And uh, you could buy them. I think at Worldworks, TJY. You could buy them different stores and they had your name on it if your name was popular. Of course, there was none None. Zip. Zilch. Not a nothing with my name on it. Not even close. Closest you could get was Maria. And I was like, okay. So I didn't like that. I hated that. Well, I'll never forget. I was so thrilled. I was probably in my... Mm, I'm going to say close to my 20s. Probably 19, 18. And I remember going to the fair. And there was a guy there that had... The wooden names that were all one piece and he'd like cut them out. I don't know if you guys remember those. If you guys had them where you were at. But yeah, he had the wooden names. <laughs> they were so cool. And I remember I had, I bought a keychain with my name on it. And paid a crazy amount for it, I'm sure. But I remember being so excited for that. And then I ended up getting one of those ID bracelets and it got they engraved it. But, yeah, when I, oh, I was so bummed out because nothing, and still to this day, if I go somewhere and they have, like, keychains or little, the little mini license plates, nothing with my name on it. Now, of course, they have the thing now where you can send in and order, order it with your name on it. But, thank heavens for a cricket because guess what? You can print your name or somebody will print it for you. <laughs> thank you, Julie. This is pretty. Oh, I like this. Got a little overspill here. Got a little overspill. A little bit of overspill. Not much. Oh my gosh. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the bottom of it. Shiny. That's a pretty box, too. Very pretty. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Oh, that's really cool. If you look at it from this way, you can see those little, the little gems, how they're pointing up. This is very nice. I like this. So, um... If anybody knows of any feet that I can get for this that would be cute or anything I could use to make feet. I thought about round beads. I thought about, because like, do I have any up here? I might have some up here. Hang on, let me look. In my bead drawer thing here. They've got to be tall enough that they're going to raise it up enough that I can. Hmm. I don't think I have any. In here. Oops. So, nope, mm. but you know what I'm talking about the round white, the big round beads from like Dollar Tree. That I know 
thought I had some. No, I did. I just don't know where I, where they are. But yeah, something like that, maybe. I just want something. I need something that I can raise it up. Probably about about the size of these little blocks, actually. Yeah. The more I keep thinking about this, the more I'm like, well, I could paint this a pretty color. Maybe a silver or a blue. Hmm. And then it would be tall enough that I could put the music box on it. I don't like that, though. I don't think... I don't know. Something about it just didn't look right. And I don't want the little brass ones on there that I got. I don't know. Help me out with some ideas here, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time, guys. I appreciate everybody that has recently. Um, probably tomorrow, tomorrow night in the video, I will be giving details, uh, for the drawing. I'm going to have a drawing, uh, right around the first for a $50 Amazon card. If you are in another country, it will be 50 US dollars, no matter where you're at, whatever our $50 here translates into your funds there is what you will get. Uh, it would be 50 U.S. dollars. And, if, like I said, if you're in another country, whatever that translates to, I'm sure you have Amazon there. Hopefully. Uh, if not, you know, we can, we'll figure something out. But it will be, it will be an electronic form of payment. And it will be the equivalent of 50 U.S. dollars. And I will let everybody know tomorrow what code word and everything. You're going to have a code word to enter. You have to be subscribed to the channel. Uh, you will have to like and comment on the video that you are entering it on. Uh, please only enter one time. Do not enter every night. I'm going to leave it open for five nights in case somebody misses a video or two. Uh, we will leave it open. So it will either be tomorrow or Friday that I will be making the announcement of what you have to say, what the code word will be, and then the following week, we will be having a drawing, and we will pick our winner. But that's just my way of saying thank you for the 3,000 subscribers. Uh, I might do it again when I get to 5,000. And then uh, when we hit 10,000, we'll do a $100, $100 one. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do $50 for the 3,000, probably another 50 at 5,000. And then at uh, 10,000 subscribers, we will do a... $100 gift card. So, if you guys want to win $100, get the subscriber count up. <laughs> get me up to $10,000. Uh, Alright, guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. hope you're happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.